Wardy is Brianna. That's Boots. Let's get this party started with Malik. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for the big boys. This Thunderbox contest is scheduled for five rounds. Your referee is Jorge Alonso. Introducing in the purple corner, rocking the black trunks, weighing in at an enormous 301 pounds from Cleveland, Ohio, Joe Last Right Owen Hart. Introducing, sporting the blue and gold trunks at a tall 6'10", weighing in at 268 pounds from Des Moines, Iowa, Ty Killing Fields! Have you ever seen two bigger boxers in the ring? I can't say I have, Larry. These guys are humongous, man. Very, very big. By ends right there. Disqualification. Any questions? Any questions? Gentlemen, touch them up. Time to go earn your money. Let's go. Certainly the biggest competitors we've seen in the world of Thunderbox in the Thunderbox Arena. Cole Washington, you saw him get lifted up by Ty Fields. Someone's going to be yelling timber in here tonight. That's I got a, a feeling. That's a fact, Larry. I'm looking for something big to happen fast. Ty Fields got the biggest arms in boxing, maybe two. Look at the size of these, man. man it's huge, man. Where'd they find this guy? So is he a lumberjack or something? He is a lumberjack. <laughs> you know what he said? He wants to buy a dog. He wants to buy a dog with the money, and then he wants to get a dog house for the dog. There you go. And then he wants to get a jacuzzi to put in the dog house, so he's got some <laughs> high hopes here tonight. I'm serious. Ty Fields coming to Ty Fields, just a young guy, 26 years old. Obviously, he's huge. Yeah. Oh, my God. I can't get over his height. I think uh, Todd should be definitely establishing his jab. You know, he's a big guy, but it's not like a jab. Especially with the big guys like this, jab to the body be real nice. Slow your big guys down. Now, Big Joe is a repo man, full-time, as well as a boxer. Hate to see him taking my car. I'm sure I was thinking the same thing. I feel to following him around. He looks game. He looks game. I'll tell you what, I've seen Ty Fields many times over the last couple of years. You see, he's improved a little bit, working a jab. Earlier in his career, all he tried to do was come out and take his opponent's head off. Yeah, I noticed that too. And he's he's he's, uh, he's calmed down a lot. He's taking his time and not throwing haymakers. Joe Lenhart continues to back away. It's good to see a big man like Lenhart using the ring. I feel keeps his hands held high, man. He is just pent up. There's a lot of, a lot of pent up frustration in Ty Fields right now. And that, and Ty should be going back down to the downstairs to the body. That would be very effective against a big guy like this moving. That's it. That would definitely cut off the ring. He should be cutting off the ring right now. Instead of following this guy around. Lenhart really not doing anything offensively, and of course, punches pay at Thunderbox, 5000 for a knockout. Each jab is worth $10, $20 for a power punch, 500 for a knockdown, 2500 for a TKO, and of course, a clean knockout. Oh, nice body shot. Top fields, work the body and uppercuts. Goliath, get him, boy! Bring that money home to me, man! Come on, bring it home to me! Bring it to yourself, but most of all, do it for your dog! Woo! Woo! It's the reach. You got a lot of swelling around that right eye of Ty Fields now. Something, something hit him there, whether it was the head, shoulder, elbow, or fist. A big Joe, something connected. As round number one winds down. There she is, Sweet Sue, looking good as always here in the Thunderbox Arena. What kind of money was round one worth to Ty Fields? Oh, uh, man, Ty stacked it up. He got $210 while Joe only got $20. Just $20. Not good. Just $20. So I was saying, I wonder where that swelling came from. It couldn't have been a punch. You didn't throw many. <laughs> it's one power shot, 20 bucks. 
heard in the corner of Big Joe, he was commenting to his cornerman that this man is strong in front of me. Yeah, he said he got hit with a rabbit punch, and um, he said definitely hurt. he felt it. But um, he's, he's moving good for a big guy. I don't know. His corner told him to go inside. I don't know if that'd be the best thing for him to do right now. Every one of Ty Field's victories has come by way of knockout. 22 wins, 22 knockouts. Lost just once. Back downstairs. Nice. Oh, oh nice body. Goodness shot. gracious. Man, you know, Big Joe's got a little patty, but that can't feel too good. Yeah. Oh, big hook by Ty Field. Joe's moving good, though, for a big man. What you really see, he's moving, moving around good. If Ty Fields goes to the body a little bit more, that's going to slow him down. That's a fact, Larry. Ty Fields in great condition. Ty Fields turning southpaw now. Ty Fields switches southpaw here. Yeah, yeah. It'd be dangerous if he's not ready to keep that left hand high. Looking to load up. Nice body shots. Get him off, they're up! Get him off, they're up! Somebody get him off, they're up! Don't get off, they're up! Ripping body shots to the midsection of Big Joe. No slouch in Joe, though. Although I think he was hurt by that last body shot. I mean, goodness. How could he not be? Feel switching southpaw here in round two. Oh. Power shot, good body shot. Another good body shot. And some blood coming from the nose of Joe now. Jay, Larry. Ty Field smells a knockout here. Five thousand dollars will be his if he does it. Plus his opponent's money, which isn't much right now because Joe has done nothing but try to defend himself, done nothing offensively. Ty Field's chasing him around the ring. Ty's working good to the body. I, I, I like to see a big man like that going downstairs. Leaving with the left. Although he's jumping up that left, he should, he should be jabbing. And setting up that left hook. Sid throwing that left hand with his feet off the ground, Shannon losing all leverage. Definitely, definitely getting caught in the air like that and, uh, and would it look like a huge knockdown only be a slip. Or basically like an off-balance punch. Ty Fields dominated here in the main event at Thunderbox. We'll be right back with round three and Dougie Fresh performing later in the show. That's the Dilio, so don't go anywhere. Word up, brother. We're back with round three. If you like him, how do you think he's a good prospect? Yeah, he's a huge guy. I mean, a little bit more training. He'll, 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 he'll be up there. Yes, he's with Ty Fields goes back to the conventional stance. His corner told him to... Not to worry about the swelling around the right eye. I told him I and there is the head motion by Big Joe Leonard. This is where uh, Ty should be jabbing, you know? Throwing those wide punches right now. If Joe Lenhardt had any offense right now, he'd make him pay. That's a fact, Larry. Another nice jab. And like you mentioned early, uh, Ty Fields is off his feet every time he punches, which is not good. How much money did uh, Ty Fields rack up in round two there, Shannon? He, he pulled in a, a whopping $640. Big money in round two for Ty Fields. That's big money. That's double the normal money for a heavyweight. Definitely. And that was those power punches downstairs. Very active. Oh, there's the jab now. Ty Fields, the first time really in the fight here in the third round, working a jab. Doing all the right things, working the body, going to the head with the jab, using the right hand. I don't know how much more of this Joe Lenhart will want. No, I think he's a little hurt now. Larry. Okay, a little offense now from, from Joe. Ty Fields played college basketball at San Diego State. He was the center of the basketball team. Played semi-pro basketball. Waiting for a call up to the NBA. There was a strike. He said, I'm going to take up boxing. There you go. Maybe he had a better shot at this. There you go. Oh. Looping left hand by Ty Field scores. He thinks his basketball he keeps jumping up. <laughs> Looking to rebound off the skull of Joe Lenhart. <laughs> for real, a slam dunk his skull. Whatever comes first.
And the body work has just been incredible. That feels good tired. I mean, he's trying to chop down a tree here, and that's a thick tree. I have one question for the matchmaker, Ron Stevens. Where do you find these guys? These guys are huge. I'm telling you what, with the wrong nickname for Todd Field, he should be called Sasquatch. I'm serious. I mean, he is Bigfoot, Big Fist. You're telling me that uh, Joe's a repo, man. I think he's more like a lumberjack. Ty Fields is throwing a lot of punches. Big man like that. You never know how much is in that gas tank. Always questionable when you have big guys like this. Wants the knockout. The knockout worth $5,000 here tonight in the main event of Thunderbox. Ty Fields just cruising along right now, hammering the big man. Let's go now to the exclusive interview with Dougie Fresh. Okay, we're gonna try this thing called the Human Beat Rocks. Y'all tell me what you think. I did it. Everybody lost their mind. And after that, I said, yo, this well, is... This they is, couldn't wait to do it yeah. again. There's principles that was learned from the old school that the new school will never understand. And there's things that the new school is doing that the old school won't understand. The game is different now. I think that what what it was in the beginning is no longer like that. Learning the old school, it's like learning the Old Testament. You know, it's like learning principles that will be with you for the rest of your life. Precious Lisa, the ring card girl, tonight here, round four, getting set to begin. At Thunderbox, Larry Michael with Shannon Briggs. Big time feels. And... Joe Lenhart through three rounds. What's the money look like, Shannon? Todd Fields is still bringing in the cake, man. He's, he made $480 last round. Why Joni pulled in $50? Just $50? Just $50, man. That's it? <laughs> man, he's got to start getting busy. I'm serious. I think he needs, he definitely needs to knock out the win and to make some cash. Todd Fields is dominating this fight and he's racking up some big money. How much did he get in the third? Ty? Yeah. Ty made $480 in the, in the third round. And he is uh, cruising along to one of the bigger numbers through three rounds for Ty Fields right now in total money. We're going to tabulate it a little bit later. And there was some, some huge urgency in Joe's corner. They were telling him, go for the knockout. Do something grande, Bobby. With the money, you can buy some new teeth. And I get the new fighter. Come on, Bobby, money. Bobby, come on. So he's got to put it on the line, you know, move his hands, let his hands go. If not, he's going to take a beat and it's for nothing. He is taking a beat. And right now, it's for nothing. You're right. Exactly. Because the winner takes home the money at Thunderbox. The loser goes home with an ice pack. That's right. This is a do or die, baby. Thunderbox style. And the body shots by Ty Fields have just been devastating in this fight so far. But you know what? You know what, Larry, it's, it's, it's kind of good for a guy like Todd Fields, he's a young kid, to get some rounds. He needs that. Joe Lenhart still trying to fight a defensive fight. Nothing offensive about him. Or is there? <laughs> he moves good for a big man. That's all I can he say. He does. Big Joe. Nice guy. Right now, though, he's getting schooled by Ty Fields. That feels showing good head movement there, I, you know, dipping his head down. I don't think anybody could reach his head. Big Joe feeling the pressure of those body shots. Ty Fields has a smile on his face. I think he's got Joe on the run a little bit. Yeah, definitely. He backed him up with some good body shots. Uh, it's up to Ty now to take, you know, basically end this. Ty Fields goes to the body again. Joe Lenhart trying to counter, but he's got nothing. Nice body shot downstairs. Ty Fields has done everything. He's trying to chop this tree down. His axe is getting dull from so much work. Oh, man. Those jabs are connecting. Another big money round. Big money round for Ty Fields here in round four. Oh, come on, Ty. Step it up, baby. This kid's a bump. You lose, I lose. So come on, keep that in mind, baby. Every punch is money here at Thunderbox. <laughs> Round four is over, but the show is not. We'll be right back. Bet that. Right, looking good, Slick. Welcome.
welcome back, and what a night. Teddy and Shine have broken up. Wordy and Jimmy at war to control all of Thunderbox. We are set for the fifth and final round of this Thunderbox main event. Two big men looking to go the distance. Ty Fields in the blue trucks with a gold trim. The black trucks belong to Joe Lenhart. I'm Larry Michael with Shannon Briggs. Who do you have winning this fight with three minutes to go, Shannon? Well, I've got Fields winning the fight and making more money at this point. Top Fields last round pulled in $340 while Joe only pulled in $50 last round. Top Fields wants the knockout. It would be worth $5,000. It would be worth big money, maybe the biggest payday yet in the Thunderbox series if he can get a knockout. You know, I noticed something last round, Larry. I felt like uh, Top Fields opened his hand up when he was punching. So maybe that's why the knockout's not coming. You know what, he may be tired of hitting Big Joe. Yeah. Joe beginning to fight back a little bit here. He definitely has to. It's now never for Joe. That feels pretty, pretty agile, pretty quick for a guy that big. Definitely, definitely. Very athletic, you can tell. He definitely played basketball, been involved with sports. Can you imagine this guy as a football player? My goodness, how about a defensive end? I'm serious. Want to take the head off of Big Joe right now. Good boxing performance by the big man. He's never been the distance in his career. Every one of his wins has finished by knockout. Oh. Joe scored big right now. Blood from the nose and mouth of Joe Lenhart. Field, still trying to tee up, still looking for the knockout. And Joe looking to land a haymaker and, and make up for everything. And I'd like to see how Ty takes it, because he can dish it up, but can he take it? Well, somebody's got to dish back on him, and Joe Lenhart has been on the defensive most of this fight. Larry, let me ask you, what do you think about uh, Ty Phil's mouth being open like that? He's tired, man. He's carrying a lot of weight. And he's really never gone the distance in his career, so kind of a groundbreaking night for Ty Fields here at Thunderbox. Oh, that body shot. He could still get the knockout here. 45 seconds still left. Definitely, definitely. That was a great body shot. Big right hand. I think he knows he hurts him. That he hurt him. Oh, big right hand by Ty Fields. Huge right hand by Ty Fields. He wants the $5,000 when he gets it. Yes, Just 30 seconds left. Blood coming from the nose of Joe, Joe, Joe Lenhardt. Ty Fields trying to close the deal here in the fifth and final round. Does he have enough left? And Joe just looked at the ref. Clock winding down here. Will we see a knockout? I don't think so. So Joe Lenhart has survived. Railroad tie fields. Take home a whole lot of money tonight. Woo, that's it, Todd. That's my man. Woo! Oh, that's my man. Come here, girl. The decision is in. Let's go to Malik. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a unanimous decision. All three judges score the fight 50 to 45 to the winner by unanimous decision. Tie killing field. Enough strength to pick up the 290 pound winner, Ty Fields. Ty Fields, the winner, and he takes home big money here tonight at Thunderbox. I think he can afford the doghouse now. Let's send it back upstairs to Griffey 2K. Go ahead, bro.